I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro, a past president of the North American Menopause Society, and I'm joined today by Dr. Claudio Suarez, who's a psychiatrist with a special interest in depression and menopause, and um, he is also a member of the Board of Trustees of the North American Menopause Society. So, as a woman who may be in my primary care provider or seeing whoever I'm seeing, noticing mood changes as my hormones are changing. Mm -hmm. um, is that related or is it just that, you know, it's an empty nest type of thing? It could be related to hormones, but as you mentioned, that time of life can be um, chaotic sometimes. Some women might be experiencing changes in their, in their physical health. They might be experiencing changes in their social environment, in their family, aging parents kids leaving home or kids coming back home. So there are a lot of uh, changes in life happening at that time. But it is known that hormonal changes might trigger depression and anxiety. So I would not uh, you know, react in, in a, you know, take it blown out of proportion and, and assume that all women may have depression, but certainly not, I would say, underestimating impact of hormonal changes in mood. So along with mood, many women will come in saying that they they just feel foggy. Mm -hmm. and, and is that a symptom? Uh, it can be. So some women would experience forgetfulness. They might have a hard time to uh, remember words or to remain uh, focused on things that they do. So uh, the working memory, as we call, difficulty to uh, sometimes remain uh, attent attentive to a specific task. But those, and the good news is that those changes are actually transient. And then as they navigate through the menopausal transition, they tend to go away, and then in the postmenopause years, they tend to go back to normal. So women in menopause with the loss of estrogen are sometimes worried about the increased risk of dementia. Mm -hmm. Is there an association with not having estrogen on board and an increased risk of dementia? Not a very clear and direct one. There are some studies looking at uh, when women are deprived from estrogen early in their lives, particularly those who had a surgery, and have what we call surgical menopause, have the ovaries removed at early age, those might be at slightly risk to develop dementia later on, but not, it's not a clear direction uh, or, or association between hormones and dementia. So if, if I'm a woman and, and um, my hot flashes and ice sweats are terrible and I finally have decided to go on menopausal hormone therapy yeah. of some sort, is that gonna be hurtful or harmful to my brain? Like, is the jury out on that? Do patients, if I'm a patient sitting you know, in the office, do I need to be worried about my brain starting on these hormones? I would say depending on the timing you're coming and, and, and getting to that conclusion that hormones are probably helpful. If you start using hormones for menopausal symptoms uh, at the early stages of your menopause, uh, so let's say you're in your early 50s uh, or just became menopause or transitioning to menopause, up to 10 years, of uh, making that transition, that's the perfect timing or the perfect window. That's when hormones tend to be better for your brain, better for your cognition, your mood, and your heart as well. So if I'm reluctant to go on menopausal therapy, are there any lifestyle changes that I can make that will help my mood and will help sort of the brain fog go away maybe a little faster? Well, there are probably uh, other resources you can use, like for those more severe cases you might use um, medications to improve your mood, your anxiety. Uh, if you're worried about uh, your cognition, you might look for uh, exercises as a way to actually improve uh, overall well-being. There are some actually interesting studies suggesting that even exercise might have some neuroprotective effects. In other words, help your brain to age healthier uh, and in some cases even protect against dementia. That's still new but promising research. So I would say lifestyle changes, better diet, exercise might definitely help. And one last question for a woman who's out there. When is there a warning symptom that she should not ignore about her mental health or about her cognition that should have her be getting some professional guidance? Uh, it, it comes down to um, having those symptoms affecting your ability to function, mm -hmm. right? So I would not necessarily uh, pathologize any mood changes or any memory problems that we have as we get older. But as we go through menopause, as women go through menopause, if they notice that mood changes or mood swings are happening more often, it's really affecting the ability to function, even at home or at work, and when they socialize, 
and it's really uh, causing a significant impairment, that's when they actually should pay attention to. Thank you so much. My pleasure.